All right, I just got off the phone with my job. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take today off because I just did like two double weekends and it's crazy. It's fucking insane. Okay. Where were we? No, I'm over here drinking milk. Out of a plastic bottle. I just lifted that shit up and it's a big ass warm in it. The warm was like trying to go around and shit. Bruh, I feel like I'm tripping, but like that warm was big as fuck. <laughs> I mean, like that warm looked like it was the size of my finger. If I lift it up right now, it's probably still there. Big ass fucking warm in here. But that's the thing about getting organic soil and shit. Cause you get organic soil, you can actually like have living shit in it. Like warms do not like like hot soil. So if you have hot soil, it's not gonna have any like it's not gonna have a biome. Like it's not gonna have a what's it called? There's a word for it. Um let me think, let me think, let me think. Mm. it's not going to have an ecosystem in there, right? So what you want in your soil is a fucking, like, ecosystem. So things are eating what's dying, not just, like, your plants or... Your plants can't eat everything in there. So, like, whatever the worms eats and shits out, that's what the plant eats. So, yeah. Right now, the plant is like, what the fuck? So I'm going to have to go to Home Depot, get some more soil, put some more soil over it. And then, um, dude, this plant is like killing me here. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, this plant is fucking kicking my ass. Yo, so two lady committee, as you can see, I've been busy here. Um, first, we had Angelique. If you if you see my story on TikTok, Angelique is dead. Monique is is living. Monique is alive. I'm I'm trying to have a bit of a green dump because uh, the last time I had plans, I don't know what happened. Okay, we're not we're not even gonna talk about that. That's not important. But to say the least, cats, cats and plants don't go together. Okay. My new apartment is trash. <laughs> I mean, dead ass. This shit's trash. Look at this. Look, TV on the floor. Look, sofa and shit. This shit is from Arians, so I'm paying like two thousand dollars for a fucking sofa. I don't know how much the TV cost. Yo, two thousand dollars for a sofa and the TV is 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 a bit extreme. I'm not even gonna cap. When they showed me the fucking price point, I was like, yo, can. Can I get like a military discount or like, a, I don't know. I haven't been in the military and shit, but like they didn't even offer, you know what I'm saying? Like, like usually you go somewhere, they're like, we have military discounts and shit. I'm like, yo, what if I served in the army? Y'all still gonna make me pay full price for that shit? You trying to tell me I went and almost died for America and I still got to pay full price for this shit? <laughs> yo. No kids, man. No kids. They didn't offer any kind of fucking discount on it or nothing. Hold on. 
All I got was a delivery from Aaron's. I'm like, here's your $2,000 furniture. You got to pay $50 or something. Yeah, I got to pay like $100 a month for this shit. This shit got me mad. I've just been pissed off. Pissed off at the fucking bills. Pissed off. I came home. My lights was out. I had to call SRP. It took like another 15 minutes to get my shit on. I was over there eating in the dark with a flashlight, man. Dude, don't. Don't, do not think that this shit is cute. Oh God, this shit is not cute. I, I got an apartment and I was like, yo, this is cute. You know, this is cute, this is cute, this is cute. Oh man, hell no, nah, bro. I've been here a month and shit. Just, just fucking, you know, tripping out, man. Lost my job, had to get another job. I was doing the same old shit I was doing. Like, I was still, like, running around, like, smoking weed and shit. Then I, I was like, yo, bro, I'm too old for this shit, man. I, I'm too old for this shit, too, late committee. So I hit up I hit up a couple people, man. I made, I made a couple calls and shit. You understand what I'm saying? You got to be able to make a couple calls, bro. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about, bro. It's not about what you know. Because if you don't know shit, you need to shut the fuck up. We know you a bitch already, okay? You We don't, we don't need to know that you a bitch. We know you a bitch already, okay? So... This is what I'm talking about. Like, if you can't make a couple phone calls, make shit line up, bro, you really need to shut the fuck up. Oh, God. That's what I'm getting at. That's what I'm getting at right now. <clears throat> We're not going to talk too much about that, okay? We're going to leave that where it's at. Because I know y'all niggas be getting booty hurt. All right, we're going to do a fit check. Boom. You don't need to know what these are, but I think they, they some shit, bro. These are Reebok. I've got the Reebok. With the, uh, what is it, Grow Science? With the Grow Science? Yo, this is just my, like, this is just my chill shit right now. This is just my chill shit. You don't want to see me on a good day. Because so I be fly foot. Be flyer than half y'all niggas, man. Be flyer than half y'all niggas on a regular, regular, degular, schmegular. Bitch. I, I didn't have to say all that, bro. I didn't have to say all that. My bad. My bad. I don't mean I don't I don't mean to be cursing and shit. This is the only time like a nigga could curse and shit. Can you imagine if I just went outside and just started talking like the way I really be talking and shit? People would like they would like look at me like I'm like I lost my mind and shit. Like I, I'm I'm really a humble person. I really am. I'm polite in every in every way possible, except when I'm popping my shit. <laughs> Ah, yo, I'm just looking at pictures. I don't got no cable. I try to buy a cable, and I, Lord knows I'm not gonna start hooking up my laptop to this shit. Cause can you imagine, like, yo, like, all right, now I'm gonna carry my laptop and hook it up to the TV so I could watch some shit, bro. I can't even imagine, man. I give up. I give up. I bought a cable. The cable don't work. I, I'm done. Now I'm just looking at pictures and shit. And it's so fucking, it's so annoying because it's like five pictures, you know? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting when I, when I got this TV. I'm not going to cap. I've been looking at the same five pictures for like the past like three or four days. And these pictures is not like the best pictures. It's not even the best quality. It, it, it looked damn near fake. Look, I'm going to show y'all this fucking, this TV, man. I bought an LMN TV from, from Aaron's. That's what we're talking about today. By the way, if you're here for this video, we're talking about Aaron's furniture. God damn it. Um, fuck. Look at this TV. Yo. Yo. Look, look, bro. Look, that's the first picture. Bro, don't mind my socks, okay? If you start firing me up because my socks, bro, I'm about to go change them right now. I'm about to go change these hoes right now. Don't fire me up. These hoes is dirty, man. Look look at these dirty ass socks. Oh! Oh, my God! Whose mask is, bro? 
Whose man's is this, bro? Yo, L man's, L man's, L man's, L man's, L man's, L man's. But hey, man, at least, at least they, at least they Nike. You know what I'm saying? Shit, bro. But on the cool, these socks need to go. So I, I really, I really apologize that y'all gotta look at these crusty ass toes like this right now. Oh God. Okay, I, I had to redeem myself, y'all. Had to redeem myself. Look, man. Got some new socks. I just had them chilling. I haven't put these on yet. This is the first time I put these on. But they actually, they better, they better than those Nikes. These, these is like, these is like that. They like that, like that. You know what I'm saying? Shit. All right. So now we're not looking at no crusty ass socks no more, man. Type shit. Y'all like my toes? Hold on. You can't see my toes, but I like my socks. D drop a W socks in the comments if y'all fuck with my socks. If you made it this far type shit. If y'all don't know, I'm handicapped. That's why I got the cane over there. Now you know. Now you know. The more you know. Should I get a tattoo? Cause I, I found the tattoo I want to get over here. They said it's a uh, it's the new it's the year of the dragon. On um the Chinese New Year. This year is the year of the dragon. So I was gonna get a dragon tattooed on me just cause like I want to remember like oh I got that tattoo when it was the year of the dragon and shit. But I don't know. The t the dragon is gonna look kind of fire over here. I'm not even gonna cap. We gonna we gonna we gonna make another video of that too. That's gonna be a whole separate vlog, cause I got my whole arm over here. Then. I don't think I showed y'all my tattoos in my last videos. I'm always just doing weird shit in my videos, man. Ugh. It's about time I give you a, you know what I'm saying? Just the usual, bro. Nigga just kicking it and shit. It's about time, man. This is actually overdue, man. It's overdue. It's way overdue. I know. It's about time, man. I be having niggas over here like, bro, this nigga is tweaking on the fucking shit. Nah, bro. I'm not tweaking, man. Today, today I'm actually like, you know what I'm saying? Today, I'm like, yo, bro. Let me just, you know what I'm saying? Let me change my socks out and shit. Let me just like, let me go fuck with Aaron just real quick. Uh, all that, all that cool shit, man. But that's just today, bro. You never know. You never know what the future brings, man. Shit, shit could be good one day, and the next day you lose everything. You know, like I be seeing lost everything. <laughs> he be like, I lost everything. You know. Uh, so yeah, it's cool. It's cool, bro. I lost everything at one point, man. And um, that's where I'm at right now. If if y'all know about how I lost everything, man, I gotta I gotta like make a whole separate video about that and shit. But like, I, I don't know. I I could possibly make that the thumbnail today and just like give y'all like the little the little intro and shit or that. Cause like when I move when I moved from Dallas and shit, I had nothing, yo. I was I was in Dallas fucking around with the shawty and shit, and uh. I just didn't like fucking with her no more. So I was like, yo, I'm out. You know, I was like, yo, I'm going back to Phoenix because I don't like, I don't like how you be treating me and shit. Plus she had cats everywhere, bro. So that's when I knew. I, before, I, before I went there, I didn't know she had cats and shit, bro. So I got there and she had cats and shit. Cats was shitting on the floor, bro. That's when I knew, like I fucked up, man. Cause why Shawty got cats just shitting all over the place, man. I was like, bro, I'm out. <laughs> I was like, bro, I'm out of here, man. I'm, I'm gonna get the fuck up out of here. And I got the fuck up out of here, bro. So I moved. I moved back over here with nothing, yo. Like I basically lost everything, man. I basically lost everything. So I had to start over with nothing, bro. I had like a suitcase and shit. This shit was crazy, bro. This shit was tough, man. I'm trying to tell you, bro. This shit was crazy, bro. Nigga didn't have shit. Shit's naive, man. And you know what's crazy, bro? I, the person who let me stay, who let me stay with him when I ain't had shit, it wasn't my parents, bro. 
Bro, my parents thought I was for like I was like fumbling the bag O D until like until like they found out, oh shit, bro is still like you know what I'm saying, bro is still pushing B and shit out here. So this lady let me stick let me stay with her and she had cats too. Like she had tons of cats and shit. So it's crazy how like I left a like a crazy cat situation and then I like I moved into another crazy cat situation, bro. But this was way different, bro, because like I was I was just like I was just there, like just just fucking being there, bro. Like I didn't really know what the fuck I'm doing in my life and shit. Usually at that point, that's when people are like, "Oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get the fuck out of here and go get an apartment." But at that time, I was just like, "Bro, no, I just gotta stay. I just gotta stay low, bro, because I don't have no money. I basically lost everything, thinking like I'm gonna like bounce back and shit." Even when I bounced back, I was still like I was ensuring myself, yeah. So I just I tried to bounce back in the best way possible and shit, but shit, man, I lost I lost my job at the hospital, and that's when I was like, damn, bro, now I just gotta like start like moving around and shit differently, bro, because people don't understand, bro. If you not if you're not like actually moving around and shit, you're not even gonna have like a way to make any money. So like. I was like, yo, fuck it. I don't want to be in one spot and they over there like bullshitting and I'm not moving around and shit. So that's really it, no money. It's no money in just, you know, just being in one spot, bro. Trust me. It's no money in that shit. And I will know. I will know it's no money in that shit because I was there, bro. You can't tell me it's some money there and I know it ain't no money there and shit. You know what I mean? Dude, so that was, man, that was just, you know, finding my way around and shit. Fucking stumbled on um some people who let me drive their car, bro. Some people let me drive their car drunk, bro. So I got a fucking DUI and shit after that. I'm still trying to figure that shit out, man. So you can see, like, I'm over here twisting my head. That's that's why I be twisting my head, bro, because that fucking DUI shit, that shit be fucked with me, man. It really do. That's why I started twisting my hair and started growing my shit out, bro. Just because, like, I remember, like, reading the Bible and niggas was like, yo, your hair is, like, your, your main, like, like it's like your roots, bro. Your hair is like your roots and shit. It's, it's like it's tied in with your roots. So if you don't got, like, if you don't got, like, a good, like, lineup and shit like that, some people be, like, taking their lineup pretty serious with the fade and shit. They be like, yo, bro, I got to get my fade right and shit. So, you know, I try to get my fade right and shit. Let me fix you up. Y'all see my fade? Peep, 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 peep the fade. Peep the fade, though. See, bro, I didn't have a fade before this, bro. Like, like I swear to God, bro, I had no fade. Shit, bro. So I, I got I got in touch with my roots, bro. Rather than people like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like under Bible or the Bible line, your shit up looking crazy and fucking hell, bro. I done got some barbers that fuck my shit up, man. They got my shit looking crazy on this side. And then on this side, they wanted the shit look good. I'm like, bro, what are you like fucking retarded? Never going no fucking barber again after that shit, man. I was like, bro. Just cut my own shit at this point. Nah, this shit is stressful as fuck, though. Like, having having this shit in my hair, bro, is stressful, bro. Like, like this more stressful shit is what I'm trying to get at. You know what I mean? Like, it's more stressful shit in the world than just, like, oh, goddamn, my hair is so fucking annoying. And I used to be like that, yo. I used to be like, yo, goddamn, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my hair and shit. Like, I used to, like, try to make time to do my shit rather than be, like, actively doing my shit. You know what I mean? Now I'm getting to a point where, like, I can't I can't just sit there and be like, oh, now I'm making time to take care of myself. No, nah, you got to actively take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can't just, like, you see, you see that cane over there, bro? You see that cane over there? That's, like, me actively taking care of myself, bro. Like, you can see, like, that shit is there. So, like. I'm never just going to be over here, like, walking around on some shit. Like, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I could easily just stand over there and just hold on to that shit. You know what I mean? So, it's like, it's like, it's stepping stones. That's what I'm talking about. Like, I don't I don't under, come to understand, like, a certain shit. Like, you just got to, you just got to stand on business about it. You can't just be like, oh, nah, I'm going to go sit down and try to make time for this shit. Nah, bro, you got you to gotta stand on business. So, that's why, like, that's why niggas like, nah, bro, you got to stand on business type shit. So, 
it's like it's like you gon' you gonna be you gonna be tested for shit show. You're gonna be tested in life, yo. You're gonna be tested in life. And I'm twenty six years old right now, so like it's kind of like a good time for me to start exper- like experimenting with who I am and like how I'm trying to live life and shit. Cause if if I don't if I don't figure that shit out right now, then I'm probably never gonna figure that shit out type shit. So that's why I be chilling and shit. Cause like I don't want y'all to feel like I'm I'm leading y'all down the wrong path. You know, like I, I'm not I'm not gonna like lead y'all down the wrong path for real for real. You know what I mean? But like I want y'all to know, like yo, bro, I I lost I lost everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I lost everything, bro. Like. This shit, this shit that people be, like, you know what I'm saying? This shit that people be seeing me, like, like, doing this shit. This shit ain't even real, bro. This shit ain't even real. Y'all should see where I came from, bro. I came, I came up, I came up as legit with a whole lot of shit. And that was during the pandemic. That was during the pandemic where I was just chilling. Like, I got all these tattoos from the pandemic. Because I didn't have shit going on, you know? I was just making money and shit. Like, everybody was chilling on fucking retirement checks. That was, like... I was trying to make sure, like, yo, bro, at least I got something to remember. Because, like, that pandemic was not cool, man. Like, what the fuck was going on, bro? It was not cool, bro. It was not cool, man. And now we coming out of that shit. And it is it is still what it is, bro. But, like, for the people who remember, like, what the fuck happened between, like, 2016 to, like, 2020. Which is, like, you know, it was, like, a four-year period where, like, shit was... It was either gonna go good for some people, it was gonna go bad. It went bad. It went bad for everybody and shit. So like now we just gotta live life remembering like, yo, shit, we could lose reality at any time, bro. So like if we lose reality at any time and you lose everything, bro, and you don't got no roots in yourself, bro, like you don't got no roots, that's really bad, bro. That's really bad. Trust me, that shit is bad. You do not want that shit to happen to you, bro. Unless, unless you like me. <laughs> if you like me, you take every fucking L and you turn that shit to a dub. Because that's the only way to live life, man. You can't just take L's back to back, bro. You got you to gotta figure out what you, you turn that L to a dub. Because life going to hand you a lot of L's, B.